Woe unto you, probably written by Charlie Hagee, Sunday, December 9th, 2012. Woe unto you, woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh, as Matthew 18, 7. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Matthew twenty three thirteen. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Matthew twenty three fourteen. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Matthew twenty three fifteen. Woe unto you, ye blind gods, which say, Whosoever shall, whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Matthew twenty three sixteen. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye have done, and not to leave the other undone. Matthew twenty three twenty three. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Matthew twenty three twenty five, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto white did, you are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but within are full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. That's Matthew twenty three twenty seven. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. Matthew twenty three twenty nine, And woe unto them that are sick with child and to them that give suck in those days. Matthew twenty four nineteen, The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Woe unto that man of whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Matthew twenty six twenty four. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. That's Luke six twenty four. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Luke twenty or Luke six twenty five. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. Luke 6, 26. Woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets. Luke eleven forty three. Woe unto you also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be born, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens of one of your fingers. Luke eleven forty six. Woe unto you, for ye build house, for ye build, I'm sorry, woe unto you, for ye build sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Whew, that's pretty deep. Woe unto you, for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Luke eleven forty seven. Woe unto them, for they have gone the way of Cain, and read greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. Jude one eleven. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's 
Revelation 12, 11.